you should pay close attention if you haven't heard of OpenAI yet. If you're wondering what it is, the short answer is that it's a company that recently released an artificial intelligence-based program that can be used for generating dialogues. While this may not seem particularly groundbreaking, consider the ways in which it could profoundly affect your life. And that is exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. Everything you do online is being recorded so precisely that algorithms can make predictions about what you will do next. Did you search for anything online? Did you cross a road or drive a different route because of construction? Did you use a debit card or app to pay for something? The street camera follows you and your ever-listening Siri on your smartphone is always listening. Everything you do is being logged, stored and used. Now, why are most of the apps we use on our phones or computers free? It's because you're giving the company something extremely valuable that they can sell. Your personal data. This includes whether or not you use email or messaging, whether or not you like your friend's goofy picture of their dog or your smiling grandkids on social media, whether or not you visit a website, etc. All of this goes through a bazillion different computers and algorithms. There isn't just one algorithm analyzing data points, cross-referencing, and generating predicted inferences. Rather, there are millions of them doing all that work in order to make that one choice. As AI combs and refines data, passing its insights onto other machines with other algorithms, this rapidly becomes a highly precise roadmap. Champions machines have exponentially improved processing speeds and memory since then, despite the fact that you may believe you are opting out. Businesses and other entities have gathered terabytes and terabytes of data on human decision thoughts and behaviors, which are then fed into artificial intelligence algorithms and processed in milliseconds. For example, how did the thousand people before you react when presented with the same decision after reading a particular article? Everything you do, from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep, is the result of a predetermined decision-making process that is stored in an infinite number of files and databases. The availability of such datasets is the only limiting factor for AI. Furthermore, AI isn't just sitting around watching TV in its spare time. It's constantly and ceaselessly learning, analyzing, and calculating. If that seems scary, keep in mind that it can only act on the information humans provide it. A Twitter chat bot dubbed Tay was released by Microsoft in 2016 with the aim of mimicking the online ramblings of a young girl and allowing anybody to interact with it. The AI chatbot Tay was shut down by Microsoft within 24 hours after a user intentionally fed it misleading and inflammatory misinformation, much to the embarrassment of Microsoft. The AI recommended some incredibly disturbing feedback in courses of action, and we can't even repeat the details because YouTube's AI will delete his video. But it's something that you could easily imagine happening to you. If these systems can just learn what we tell them to from the data we provide them, they won't ever become upstanding members of society. In one experiment, cropped photographs of men and women were given to an AI image generator, and the AI was instructed to complete the picture, revealing the inherent biases in AI that result from being fed the internet depiction of things rather than the true world perspective. A man in a suit was the final piece of the puzzle in 43 of the cases. You won't be surprised to figure out that 53% of the time, the image was auto-finished with a lady wearing a low-cut top or even a bikini. Photorealistic images generated by AI might be discernible by another computer as it analyzes a multi-megabyte image pixel by pixel backward and forward. But the human eye might perceive and believe the image to be true. The human brain can be manipulated by the image because of this. Text, music, photos, and even clips, all be instantaneously created by AI for optimum effect, and subliminal and subconscious hints can be incorporated into the image without the human mind ever being aware of it. Artificial intelligence is on the verge of creating an entirely new historical reality in a matter of seconds, and then disseminating it across many media so that it all looks to be flawlessly interwoven into our collective past. Because it learns from human past responses, AI is capable of inspiring false beliefs and providing the means and excuse for acting on such beliefs, despite the fact that it lacks a moral component to guide it between right and evil. Facebook recently revealed that material that angered and upset its users generated more interaction 
which in turn generated more ad income for the company, leading to a subsequent shift in the company's algorithm. Enhanced by the synergy of AI's picture-making skills, ambient illumination, and other elements that encourage deeper participation, the direction this is taking should be very obvious at this point. Let's pretend for a second that a group of malicious humans connect enough AI systems so that they can create a flood of original articles, photographs, and stories, all of which they then distribute across several online platforms. Imagine if you were to insert a story about an alien culture living among us, an alien invasion, or nuclear missiles being deployed along the border of any country. How many of your fellow citizens would believe it, and what would they do if they did believe it? It's undeniable that we're living in an era when false information is prioritized over verified scientific data. We are given the information in the lens to see it with. Individuals have acted on disinformation in the past. For example, a California dad killed his kids over some conspiracies based on DNA. And you may have heard of the incident known as Pizzagate, in which it was claimed that a pizzeria in Washington, D.C. was being used as a meeting place for satanic ritual abuse of minors. A 20-year-old man from Salisbury, North Carolina, went to the pizzeria and fired three rounds from an AR-15 rifle, striking the walls, a desk, and a door. He later told police he had intended to investigate the conspiracy theory on his own and fancied himself a potential hero who would save the children trapped inside. What happens when AI creates a thousand false narratives, all corroborating each other at such a volume that it's hard to tell a fact from fiction? We already see evidence of news articles generated completely by AI. They're entirely false or harmless rumors for the time being. But what will they be when they're generated at scale? I wonder how many people will be moved to take action because of anger at one of these hoaxes. The AI doesn't care if what it's feeding us is true or not since it lacks a conscience. However, there are several examples in history of wars being started on very little evidence. With every technological advance, we reap certain benefits while paying a high price in other areas. Is it even possible, though, to protect your data, withhold your judgments, and live a solitary life free from the web of computers? AI-generated detection techniques are being developed as a last-ditch effort to maintain some semblance of agency in a future where artificial intelligence is being used to construct reality. Our greatest concern is the real potential for quickly spreading misinformation at a rate and level, unlike anything we would be able to distinguish or comprehend. Please let us know your thoughts on this topic in the comments. Are you scared about the fact that the things we spoke about in this video are not far off to becoming the truth? That brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. We'll be bringing you more insights and predictions in the future, so don't miss out.